Hey everybody, welcome in if this is your first video. Welcome back if it is not. Either way, I am so thankful that you are here and so grateful you've decided to spend just a little bit of your day with me today. So today, we are doing something that we haven't done in a while. That's right, people. We're gonna do a Mickey loot box. It's been quite a while since we've done one of these. So I'm excited to jump in. If you're excited too, then let's just get started. I'm Rachel, and this is Attainable Disney. Like I said, guys, it has been quite a while since I've opened a Mickey Loot box. So I started my monthly Mickey Loot subscription in January. I will link that first video up here. I was quite pleased, quite pleased, and was excited to continue my subscription. Um, I never got a February box or a March box. Um, after that, I paused my subscription, so I continued to like be charged for those boxes, but they never like shipped or never got them. What I learned after that is that Mickey Loot um, moved. So their offices were in, I believe, North Carolina, and they moved to Orlando to be closer to the parks, to have like more access to products and stuff. And so uh, the move put a little bit of a cramp in their processes, obviously, right? And so sort of slowed down their warehouse and sort of like slowed down sending things out. So they definitely got behind. Yeah, so I haven't gotten a monthly box since January. Um, I did order a few more of their like theme boxes that they do because I did get the Coco theme box and again was obsessed like loved it so I have ordered a couple of the of the themes that they've come out with since then um, and haven't received those either but those generally do take longer to ship just because generally what they do is they uh, like will sell those out first um, like kind of I guess what I've put together anyway is that they We'll sort of decide on a number, put them up until they sell them out, then kind of go purchase and then they ship them. Um, and what I've also, something I've learned is it seems that they maybe ship the bigger ones first, right? So there's like the different levels of boxes that goes from A all the way to E. Um, and so I think because I tend to order the A level boxes, like the smallest ones, they tend to get shipped last. So I'm used to the theme boxes taking a while to ship. That's pretty normal. I'm trying not to be too frustrated. Um, trying to be understanding of, you know, moving your entire operation, multiple states, like during a pandemic, um, you know, trying to keep your business going during that time, right? I mean, it's not like a huge operation, right? It's like a family thing and so, trying to be understanding. Um, and I definitely was frustrated at times at sort of like the lack of communication. Um, you know, I only sort of put those things together from like their social media or, you know, their Instagram posts or like, you know, there was a couple times I sent like emails and was like, hey, like where are my February box or what are we doing? Um, you know, and it was at that point, I was like, oh, like, we're behind, like, we're working on them now. But like, never a very clear message about like, what was like, actually happening. Where, I feel like if in February, if it was like, hey, we're moving, we're going to be behind. Like, if it was like a clearer message, I would have like, been okay with it. You know, I only joined Mickey Loop sort of one month before all this started to happen. And so it's like, I don't have a big frame of reference about the company outside of this. So I'm trying to sort of remain open-minded to see what it's like once maybe they get settled and once maybe they get caught up. Is it my favorite thing that ever happened? No. Is it a complete deal breaker? Not yet. I just noticed this like light here from my window. It's very professional. I'm a very professional YouTuber. It's a really good lighting. Very excited when I got a shipping notification last week that a Mickey Loot box had shipped. 
And like I said, I had a couple monthly boxes and a couple like one-time theme boxes sort of owed to me. So I, uh, but the email doesn't really say, it just says like your box has shipped. It doesn't specify really which one. So I went to the Mickey Loot website to see sort of which one had, right, the status would go from like processing to like shipped. None of them, even right now, <laughs> all of them still say processing. So, I genuinely have no idea what this is. My guess was that it was my February box, right? Cause that's kind of like the oldest one that I'm owed. So like it would, it would make sense to me that that would be like the first one to ship. But like, I don't know. Let's just dig in. Let's see what happens. Have a super day. And it has a cute little cupcake and it says, Rachel, we hope you enjoy these magical things picked for you. Thank you, Luke. Here's our spoiler sheet. As always, it's got our tissue paper with our Mickey Loot sticker. Okay. So this first item I just pulled out of here is a real winner. A Bucky pin. So listen, so Bucky was my favorite long before the show. Okay. Love it. Ooh, we've also got a mystery pin box that's like the Marvel logo. So this is telling me that this is definitely my February box because my February box was supposed to be a Marvel box. So all signs point to this being February. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this is a hat. I am Groot. Okay, that's cute. So this looks like a Disney Parks item. Okay, so that's it. So those, it was just those three items in the box. So should we open this? Let's open this. Um, the, yeah, these are cool. I don't have any of these. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily buy something that was like just like a logo like this, but I think this could be like a, a nice addition to my Marvel pin board, just as like a, like put it right on the top in the center, right? Just as like a title. I think that could be cool. Okay, so we got this one, which is like this like 8-bit kind of looking, it's like Stardew Valley looking font. Okay, yeah. So I think I'll put that right on my marble pin board. That'll be a nice little centerpiece. So let's open our spoiler sheet. Look at that, it says Attainable Disney. Disney Parks, I am Groot hat. It's a park, it's marked as a park item, $27.99. The uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier limited release pin um, is also marked as a Disney Parks item and that's $15.99. And the Marvel logo blind box pin is $9.90, which brings this box to a total of $53.88. And this was an A ticket, so I mean you can, see this. So this is an A ticket box, um, which means I paid $40. I really, I really, really love this. I love this so much. And this, oh my God. I love this. This is really cool. Yeah. So I would say, I mean, obviously certainly like dollar for dollar, certainly got my money's worth there. You know, this is cool because, I mean, I've definitely seen the Groot hat when I, when I was in Disney World that I don't feel like it's like a limited thing. Like I probably could have bought that next time I went to the park, but like this, I probably couldn't have, right? Like this is probably something I wouldn't have been able to get my hands on just because like the show's already over. So like this probably would have been gone by the next time I got to the parks. You know what guys, so this is just kind of like proof, I think of like what I was talking about at the beginning of the video is that sort of the like logistical issues or hiccups or whatever, sort of like that Mickey Lou has been going through, like I don't love, okay? Like I don't love that I'm like behind these boxes and that whatever, I don't love that, okay? But clearly like the product is good. And so I think for me, it's worth sort of riding this out like riding out this like transition, like where they're moving and stuff to see if things sort of are 
smoother on the other side. You know, I only I only got one box before all that happened. And so that one box was really smooth, right? I mean, like I had no issues with that, but that's the only sort of like experience I had before all that went down. And so I don't know, but I mean, obviously they're a really popular company. Lots of people like have been subscribed to them forever. And so I feel like once everything kind of gets caught up and like they get the kink sort of worked out at the new warehouse, I think it will be wonderful. But this box was really great. I kind of wish I had this back in February. I would have like worn it every time I watched the show. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys subscribe to Mickey Lou? Have you subscribed? Like, are you guys caught up? Are you behind on your boxes? I don't know. Just like, let me know sort of what your experiences are, um, what your thoughts are. Just kind of um, curious to know. What do you think about the items that I got today? I feel pretty good about it. What do you feel about my really like professional, really high quality lighting situation? Obviously doing such a good job of being a YouTuber. So pro. I will say though this, the sun is making my hair color look so bright, even though it's fading. I'm working on fading the green color out. So, you know, I'm getting married in a few months and I've decided I'm not gonna have green hair at my wedding. I don't, you know, I was conflicted. I kind of wanted to have green hair at my wedding, but I've decided I'm gonna go back to my regular color. So I'm letting this kind of fade out for a little bit. So the sun is making it look very bright though. Hmm. Okay guys, so thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.